everybody. Welcome to Perennial. Let's talk about how to denail some wood you found in the dumpster. There's lots of great wood out there that you don't have to get from the hardware store. Checking outside of construction sites in their dumpsters is a really great place to start. There's usually lots of great wood, either old with character or pretty new stuff that just needs a little bit of touching up. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I start by straightening up any bent long nails that I can find. Um, you can use the claw from your hammer to do that. And I just kind of wiggle it under there and get them all standing up straight so that when I flip it over, I can hammer them out back the way they came. This way I avoid some of the damage from the head of the nail busting out. So next I'm gonna flip them over, hang a piece off the side of the table or the workbench, and just go ahead and hammer out any of these ones that are willing to come out. Um, you may want to wear ear protection when you do this and you'll definitely want to wear eye protection. Adding a clamp can really help stabilize your work and avoid any injuries. Once you've got your nails sticking back out pretty far, there's a few ways that you can pull them. Traditionally, you'll use the claw of your hammer, and you can just pull. Sometimes they'll come out. If they're stubborn, though, there are a few things that we can do. One, we can grab a mallet, and we can use that to assist us in removing. Pretty easy there. Another thing that we can do is use a scrap piece of wood as a little added leverage. There we go. All right, so what happens when we have some hardware that's left over and that was cut off. We're gonna use, you can use an old spike of steel, but we have more uh, specific structured pieces that are for tapping nails. So you can match the size. I always start with the big one. It's really, really helpful to clamp during this. And I'm just gonna line that up and kind of figure out the angle that my nail is going through the wood. I'm going to just tap it out the other way. And so they've started to come out the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my smaller one now. So I make less of a hole. And now I have enough room that I can get under the head of the nail again and pull it out. Finally, let's talk about what happens if you have a nail or a screw that's lost its head and is completely otherwise buried in the wood. Um, it's important to try and find a way to get a hold of it. Pull it out any way you can. If it's all the way sunk down into the wood like these, you can chisel out a little bit of wood around them and create a divot so that your vice grips or pliers um, can fit down just enough to snugly grab a hold of them. So this screw lost its, uh, its head, unfortunately, and we're gonna use our vice grips to help get it out. So with vice grips, you just wanna make sure that they're the right size to lock on to exactly whatever you're pulling off. And with a broken screw, vice grips are gonna be the best way to get that out of that old piece of wood. There we go. If you've got a workbench at home or uh, if you're here at our shop, um, a vise is a really great way to help you steady your wood while you pull nails and other things. Put this guy right in there because we need to separate all these different pieces. We've got a little support over here 
and we can take uh, a Wonder Bar and use this with our mallet and our hammer to start to pull apart and separate these pieces. If you find where the nails are, it's best to put the Wonder Bar right in between them. Thanks again for watching.